In this quick video, I'm going to share with you how to change a table cell separator, a left side spacing, and how to remove table cell separator completely so that it doesn't uh, show up. And I will uh, share with you how to do it uh, programmatically using a Swift code and also how to do it uh, using Xcode. Okay, so uh, let's first uh, learn how to change a uh, separator left side spacing using Swift code. And uh, for this video, I'm reusing the example that I have. And this example has table view and it simply loads up some images and then caches them uh, so that they are not loaded again. And maybe uh, I will share with you this example as one of my next videos. Uh, okay, so I have a table view and this table view has custom cells. So for me to remove a table cell separator on the left side, I need to go to um, a function which is uh, called uh, table view cell for raw at index path. So for each cell, you want to remove that separator and I will uh, scroll down. I'm sorry, not remove, but uh, we will change the spacing on the left side. So my cell is called cell and before returning that cell, uh, my cell, I will type uh, separator in set. So I'll uh, separator in set and I'll simply set its ages, uh, age in sets to zero. UI age in sets zero. Like this. Uh, but this one is not enough. Um, to completely uh, remove the spacing on the left side, we will need uh, to do something else. We will also need to set uh, layout margins to uh, same UI um, age in set zero. And that will do the job. And if we hold com command button on our keyboard and then click on separator in set, we can read what these things do. For example, separator in set um, allows customization of the separator frame. And if we hold command button on our keyboard and click on layout margin, we can read what this uh, does as well. Like layout margin returns a set of inset from the age of the views bound. Okay, so if you do this too, if you set this two to zero, that should do the job and hide, um, I mean, remove this space on the left side of our cell. So let's run our example and have a look uh, how it works. Okay, my application is up and running and I see that I, my separator starts on the left side and stretches all the way to the right side. There is no spacing anymore. What, what if I wanted to do this? Um, uh, what if I wanted to set that separator uh, left side spacing and have it not zero, but some um, other value. For example, I could do separator inset left side is equal, let's have something uh, larger like 100. And that will um, have a bigger space. I don't know why you might need 100, but at maybe uh, 30 to 50 uh, in some uh, cases, uh, you might need to have this space. Um, okay, so now if I um, look at it, I see that the space on the left side of the separator is uh, much bigger, all the way to 100. Okay, uh, and uh, we could also do it conditionally. Uh, for example, let's uh, have um, every other cell uh, have this spacing. For example, I mean, based on certain condition, you want to apply um, height or uh, show separate or maybe change its color. So I will uh, use if statement and I will um, do something like uh, let's do index path at all. And then we will um, do mode uh, two. Let's group it like this. And then uh, if this one is equal to zero, then we will uh, increase the space of our uh, left side, uh, space on the left side of our separator. So let's do conditionally for every other cell. 
and see how it works now. Okay, and if I look at it, I see that every other separator now, based on this condition, changes its left side spacing. Okay, so um, what if we wanted to uh, completely hide that separator? Well, hiding the separator is even simpler. The one quickest way is to go to your uh, go to your view did load and then for entire cell I mean for entire table view uh, you want to hide that so I will need to refer to uh, my table view and my table view in this case is um, uh, an outlet to the UI table view so you will need to have it uh, so my table view and then I can say separator uh, in set, I mean, uh, no, let's change its color. Uh, we will simply change its color. UI color, clear color. So if we um, set separator color to clear color, then even if you have background color of your cell, black or white, doesn't matter, uh, the separator will uh, not show up. So let's um, stop this and run this example and see how it works. So now uh, when we change uh, separator color, we won't see the table view is clean and uh, there is no separator between cells. Or there is another way that um, I found and it's uh, simply change the, um, uh, ch simply change the um, insets of our cell. So for example, let's bring this code back. Uh, where we uh, changed um, layout margin and separator and set. So what if we uh, do this? If we, instead of um, adding a 100 at the left and increasing that space on the left, we will move separator all the way to 1000. So if we add 1000 on the left side, separator will, will move all the way to the right and will not be even visible. So uh, let's run this example and see how it works. Okay, so it's not visible. It's uh, hidden, we don't see it, but if I bring it back, if I do 10 pixels, I mean 10, and uh, it will come back. Here we go. Okay, so uh, this is how to uh, do it using Swift code. Now let's switch to our main storyboard and see how to do it uh, using Xcode. So I will hide my left side panel and I will select my cell. This is the custom cell that I have with my um, table view. And I open um, up my right side panel, the utilities, and I will switch to attributes inspector. Okay, so first we will learn how to uh, change the space on the left side. And to change space on the left side, we will look for separator here. And then we will uh, open up and choose custom insets. And here we have default value of 15. So this one I can change. If I want bigger, I will have it bigger. But if I want, if I don't have, if I don't want to have any space on the left, I will set it to any space. And then uh, another uh, thing that I want to do is to also switch to size inspector. And then for layout margins, I will change it from default to explicit. And here we have left, bottom, right, and top. On the left side, I will also set it to zero. So now if I run this example again, And um, I should not have the uh, space on the left side of my table cell separator. Okay, so it's coming. Okay, and I see a table view, uh, I mean table cell separators, and there is no spacing. Uh, and which, which is what we uh, wanted. Okay, so but how do we uh, hide separator completely so that it's not even visible? Okay, so let's bring this back to default. Uh, I will, um, under the size inspector layout margin, I will bring it back to default. 
and for the separator custom and sets and sets under the attributes inspector i will also bring that to default so i'll stop and run this example okay so now we have uh, our spacing on the left side back okay so now we want for entire table for every single cell we want to remove that separator okay so uh, what we need to do we need to select the table view itself like I click on the table view or from the document outline here I can select table view and then under attributes inspector here I want to find separator so under separator uh, I have none single line and so on so I will choose none so for table view separator is set to none now if I run this example and I scroll my table up and down I don't see that separator so it's gone okay so uh, and this is it this is how we um, remove the space and uh, remove the uh, table cell separator uh, completely